Hello and welcome to a brand new season of TIPB Tidbits, where we take a look at those small, yet memorable aspects of public broadcasting in America. It should be no surprise to you folks that I am a fan of Brian Jake's Red Wall. I grew up watching the show each summer on my local PBS station, and I even own a few of the original novels. The Nelvana Alphanim animated series was an excellent adaptation of three of Brian Jake's novels, Red Wall, Matameo, and Martin the Warrior, but the show was cancelled after the Martin the Warrior series. Recently, however, the Redwall Wiki released a blog post about an intended fourth season of Brian Jake's Redwall, covering the events of Moss Flower. The story would involve Martin the Warrior wandering into Moss Flower Woods, falling foul of the wicked wildcat queen Zarmina Greeneyes, escaping the prisons of Kotir with the help of the young mouse thief Gonf, and journeying to the Badger stronghold of Salamandastrin to raise support for the Woodlanders resisting the tyranny of Zarmina and Kotir. The blog post on Redwall Wiki included a rudimentary schedule of the 13 episodes for this proposed fourth season, taken directly from the series Bible created by the show's writing team during a meeting in Los Angeles. Overall, the episode schedule follows the events of Mossflower very closely, from the narrative device of Bella of Brock Hall telling Martin's story, the mice of Loamhedge planning construction of a new abbey, and even the monstrous swans, toads, and the crab that Martin and company meet on their journey to Salamandastrin. Other notes on the series schedule call for further discussion with author Brian Jakes. Liberties, though, were taken in a few spots. The characters of Chib the Robin and Argilor the Eagle were given expanded roles in the show, while other characters were either trimmed down or left out altogether for ease of animation. Say Mr. and Mrs. Stickle and Martin's friend Tim Ballisto. On the whole, though, this could have worked well for another addition to the Redwall TV series canon. What went wrong, though? According to the Redwall Wiki, the fourth season's cancellation was not due to a lack of success, but strangely, it was due to the positive reception of the previous three series. There was a full-length movie planned at one point that never came to fruition, not to mention a lack of interest from PBS member stations in purchasing yet another series. Still, with the upcoming Patrick McHale Redwall series coming to Netflix, maybe the production crew will take inspiration from this original Mossflower storyline for its Martin the Warrior series. Only time will tell, though. In the meantime, one has to wonder how Moss Flower, A Tale of Redwall, would have turned out. And more importantly, what would the educational wraparounds be like? Bam! Now, for all of you. Bam! 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 Now, onto the PBS member station spotlight. This time we'll be going south to look at WABE-TV Atlanta. WABE got its starts in 1953 when the Atlanta Board of Education filed for construction of a non-commercial educational television station. The FCC granted the license in 1956 and WETV Atlanta began broadcasting in 1958. Initially, the station broadcast programs for Atlanta's public schools and select programs from the National Educational Television Network. In 1970, the station became part of the new public broadcasting service, and in 1973 began broadcasting on Saturdays as well as weekdays. The 1980s proved a difficult time for the station, with employee strikes and funding cuts, and in 1984 the station was changed to WPBA-TV, a name it would continue to use until 2022. Over the next few decades, WPBA would hold off on takeovers from the larger Georgia Public Broadcasting, as well as increasing and decreasing its PBS programming offerings until 2018, when WPBA became a full PBS member station, working alongside Georgia Public Broadcasting to schedule PBS programming for the people of the state of Georgia. In 2022, WPBA changed its name to WABE-TV. Programming for WABE-TV includes local programs such as Amplifying Atlanta, Making It, and Only in Atlanta. Today, WABE-TV works alongside Georgia Public Broadcasting to provide PBS programming to the Atlanta metropolitan area. If you are in Atlanta, you can tune in to WABE-TV 
on Channel 30 with NHK World on the Dot 2 channel. Thank you to everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, ring the bell, follow on Twitter. Also, don't forget to support your local PBS stations. So more programming related to Brian Jake's Red Wall can find its way to your television screens. And until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.